Welcome back to Forspoken DLC. Last time, we took down our discount Ultima weapon, and we we had a, a long chat with uh, General Albacore Tuna. <laughs> yes, I, I will continue to call him Albacore Tuna, because that's how I remember what his name is. And so we ended up in this library, and we found out that Frey is pretty much a ticking time bomb. So let's... See what we got coming up next. Would you mind if I asked you a few questions? Yes. Please. Yes, I would. I only hope I can tell you what you wish to know. So, just to be clear, these markings mean I'm some kind of reddick weapon, right? And I'm stuck this way. Just boom, no more Talia. I'm sticking to my it theory that but Those markings yes. are actually, like, their way of converting a, a proper vessel with, uh, like, kind of like... Or if you die before it's completed, you will... If they can handle, if the vessel can handle the markings, then they can be kind of imbued with the power of the roots. Okay, um, and then you know that acts as the vessel of what would be arm? cuff. I do not. That's my theory, and I'm but sticking to it. Could this indicate a more devastating result when the inevitable finally occurs? Whoa, whoa, okay, hang on. If I and I mean, realistically, I kill everyone around me, right? Wouldn't that if that's not the case, the this is kind of, this whole DLC is kind of irrelevant, yes, <laughs> if you think about it. it nonetheless. I cannot pretend to understand their motives. Jeez, why do they put in the water over there? Why does it not surprise me that the concept of commitment is utterly alien to you? How did you know to come and find me? The Reddick have attempted to perform the gnoming once before. We managed to stop them, but only just. So, I'm not the first person they've done this to? No. There was another. And she too, I was forced to eliminate. When Ola sensed that another vessel had been created, I'd be curious to find out that who that other vessel was and if they were, like, if they had any significance to the overall world. Me. Right. I don't think it says anything. It probably doesn't. No, it just says that there was two that were capable of becoming vessels, but nothing else. What exactly is Aldecor trying to achieve? By bringing about the gloaming. I do not know. But I worry we are perilously close to finding out. What even is the gloaming? It can't just be about blowing me up. No, I fear it cannot. There must be more to it than simply that. Why do I get the feeling I don't want to find out? So, are these marks on my arms the reason I can use magic? I believe so. At least I cannot think what else might explain your newfound powers. Hmm. So, why do you think destroying the tree's roots may be stronger? I can only speculate. There was no tree, and no crystals, the last time the ceremony was performed. Are you ready? Well, you know, maybe before they just didn't understand how the ritual worked and it failed, so they figured yeah. out that you, they needed a tree. Tell me a little about yourself. What could you possibly wish to know? Well, I just... I don't have much time left. Thought I'd try and get to know you while I can. Very well. What would you like to know? Um, oh, uh, I don't know. Let's see, uh... Did you, uh, ever... Maybe you want to start a family? A tanto is not permitted to bear children. Surely you know this. Yeah, of course, but if you take off your... Yeah, and we all see how that panned out in the future. 
Well, were I not a Tanto, I imagine having a family might be a rather wonderful thing. But I am a Tanto, therefore such considerations are irrelevant. But you're the Tanta of love, aren't you? Yeah. Can you think experiencing Down with continuing the bloodline. Down with the nuclear family. <laughs> that would be a betrayal of my duty to Athia. Okay, okay, I get it. I just never had a mom, and I don't know, you seem like you'd be a good one to have. That's an unusual compliment. Well, that's all I got, so let's go kick Aldecor's ass and take back Basoria. Talia, you do realize how this ends. I will have no choice but to kill me. I know. But, well, Athi is my home, too. So you do what you gotta do to keep it safe. Now let's go. Oh, so close to a level. Uh, now we're good. The Reddick will be expecting us. Let me guess. Don't be too hasty. Don't rush in, right? Not at all. I trust you will do the right thing. I merely wish to say that my strength is yours, should you require it. Is it just me, or has she softened up a little? I can Maybe. How little your blossoming bond interests me. Okay, so we have a Healy thing. We have a magic thing. Um, I think we can... I think you can actually go back through here. I don't know. Okay, so you can go through the door, but what's up here? Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Why would they put this here? What's the point? Weird. Okay, so let's take a look at our map. Uh, I guess it doesn't really show us anything, eh? I think this goes back to the library then, doesn't it? Yeah, sure enough. Okay. All right. We climb. Uh. Uh. Wish I knew why this tree was so important. As do I. It must play an important role in this ceremony. Uh. Shit. Oh no. How convenient. How convenient! Look out! This one looks different. Oh boy! Not sure I like being this popular. They are no match for us if we work together. Alright. 
Okay, no, no, no. I want, I want big boy there. Uh, there it is. Yep, you're gonna love this. I got just the thing. Yeah, just like that. How'd you like this? Oh, come on, man. Okay, let's take out some of these little guys. Right in the kisser. All right, get wrecked. My God, how many are left? All right, good freaking riddance, man. All down here, indeed. Up we go. You betcha. Um, how are we doing on our mana? We got twenty-eight. Not enough. <laughs> Yeah, no, I would have never guessed with the mana trail. I didn't want to do that. I wanted to switch to the skewer. Absolutely. I refuse to sit festering in the corpse of a nobody from yesteryear. I'm touched by your concern. Well, too bad for you, Cuff. You have literally no say over it. <laughs> Sucks to be you, bro. All right, here we go. Oh, hey there, little guys. You're doing much better than I anticipated. Ah, thanks, I think. Ooh, that's sketchy. Don't fall. That's a long way down. Good thing we have a fall buffer, though. So if we were to fall off, you know, you just dash and use your magic right before you hit the ground, you're good to go. Santa. Oh no! How convenient. Stay with me, Talia. We're nearly there. Wow, that's a mana up here. Uh, this feels like a battle coming up. This is a big open space. Yeah, that's a big open space. <clears throat> okay. 
Okay, we got our skewer set. More trouble. Why am I not surprised? What a shocker. We will kill you if we must. What if this was what the boys wanted all along? Maybe this is what we learned what we're supposed to do about the break. There we go. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Wow, two for the price of one. Holy crap, how many of these things are there? Okay, there's one down. Damn. Are you all right? oh. Okay, let's move away from there here. We're stuck. Ah, oh, come on, man. Get wrecked, you nerd. Nice. Let's keep going. My God, that was intense. Surprises in store. It'll take a lot of surprises to stop us. <laughs> I believe. Okay, so we're sitting at 65. I don't think that's enough, though. Yeah, no, we need 80. Really, game? You're gonna start doing this now? I, it's not even the game that's doing it. It's just my network cable. It's hilarious, because there's nothing touching it. Um, I don't remember what we have to do. Good. Okay, one second, we're unplugging it. Okay, problem solved. Land cable is not connected. Um, where are we going now? Are we going up here? Oh, we're going up there. Okay. Um, before we... Okay, never mind. Oh, wow, how convenient. How convenient. A scroll! He has a rather... Yeah, sure, let's rest. Why not? Hey, Cuff. I knew that was going to happen. You know, I really think Talia and I would have gotten along. And why is that, pray tell? She was willing to put everything on the line for the people she cared about. Just like me. And Cinta. And you know this how, exactly? Your famous Tonta instinct, perhaps? No, it's... I just... can feel it. I know this is what she would have wanted. So you know nothing about this ceremony we keep hearing about? Not a sausage, sorry. But I imagine it's suitably... Perfect. Not a sausage? Really? Dramatic. Really? This theory is based on... Come on, exactly. man. Oh, I don't know. Call it a sort of patriotic instinct. 
That helped, I hope. Oh yeah, successfully. Uh, okay, so we don't have enough. Okay, whatever. Let us be off. Wow, that was sketchy. Oh, hey, big boy. Back for more punishment, huh? No, no, you're kidding. There is no way that thing survived. It's not as strong as it used to be, but I wouldn't underestimate it. Yeah, I want to plan on it. Uh, we must escape the flames. Guys, not messing around. There we go. Faster than lightning? Yeah. Okay. Ready when you are. Ready, Sight. Uh, how's the light sit? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. There it is. Oh. You're gonna love this. Oh. Ow! Oh crap. Seriously, did that? We didn't get to activate that because he was in the middle of an attack? That is such garbage. Take a hike, dude. Wow, where were you throwing that? Okay, there we go. Get wrecked, you nerd. Really? 140 experience? I feel like that's cheap. Now for Aldecor. Why do I feel we are being led by our noses? What do you mean? Nothing. We're being oh. led by Moses? <laughs> this way. <sighs> uh, oh my god, I'm blind. It's right there. Um, down here. I don't think we're going to make it to 80. Oh, crap. Can we get it? Yes, we can. Woo! Okay, this is one tall tree. Do not look down. Oh, cool. Perfect. But please, do watch where you step. Ooh, we got it. Okay, what do we have to do for this one? Oh, we just have to evade. And we don't have enough to unlock those. Oh well. You'll hurt, Talia. I know. Gotta heal up. Ooh. Was just thinking I need one of these. A lucky find then. Um, yeah, I I guess we're Ah, how you doing, Albacore Tuna? 
Finally. Is this the final showdown? I was worried you might have a change of heart. The gloaming. What does it do? It destroys Athia, of course. With the help of a vessel, that's you. And the flourishing tree of offering, like the one you see before you. What the hell does that mean? My, has it flourished. Thanks to you. You wouldn't believe the amount of life force this takes. I had feared, despite my best efforts to secure a healthy supply, that there simply wouldn't be enough. But then you two came along. You started killing all my soldiers. Voila. Death begets life. Are you saying we helped you? Oh, yes. And in more ways Apparently. You were a perfectly adequate vessel before, but thanks to the power you've absorbed, the gloaming will now leave Arthia with deeper wounds than we ever dreamed of. All we need do. I'd be curious to know why they, they dislike Athia so much. For when the core shines its brightest, the gloaming will come. Because I mean, to these us. dudes sound like they got a real vendetta. I'm afraid we cannot allow that. Your wretched ceremony will fail as we Heck yeah! Then I will show you. What we read it. Let's go, big boy. Let's go, big boy. Oh, that's right. You can't fight normally. You got to break yourself first. Bye. Let's go. What's that like? Best avoided, I'd say. Don't let him get to you. Uh, something tells me he's not going to go down easy. Bullseye. Ow. Ah, you missed. There we go. Okay, so let's get get rid of as many as these little guys as we can. Um, actually run. Okay. Okay, here we go. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, we got this. Fuck, what is this? Whatever it is, I think we need to stand back. Yeah. All right. Cover me! 
Get wrecked, nerd. Oh boy, oh boy. Yeah. Nope, not working. Excuse me? In a kisser. Oh boy. There it is. Oh boy. Someone has completely. Oh hey, there's there's jumpy things. Hey, he got health back. Ow. 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 Holy crap, man. Oh, come on, dude. He hit right as the barrier ran out. Can you stop? It's not letting me run. <laughs> I don't know what the deal is. It was not letting me activate the magic parkour. The wings. He's doing it again. Must be really Oh, oh, what's what? What are you doing? Um. Not good, not good, not good, not good. Get in the air, quickly! Holy oh, shit. we're stuck. Okay, let's go, let's go. What? Oh, is he doing the thing again? Are you kidding me? Jump! You're nowhere! Here I come! Got it! Oh, come on, man! Okay, get him, get him, get him! Get wrecked, you nerd! It's always the final battle where the controls stop working. This happened in the main game too. The first time we fought, we, we faced off against Cuff, it would not activate the magic parkour, would not let me run away. This one, it was, it. I counted at least five times where the magic parkour would not activate. I'm trying to run away. I got my finger on circle and it's not doing anything. My stamina wasn't empty. It just wouldn't go. And then we got hit and bounced like six times in a row. Wow, she just got blasted.
I'll stop ranting and let this play out. I freaking knew it. I knew it. She didn't explode. Cuff was just born. I freaking knew it. Okay, so she was the vessel for Cuff. They were they were summoning their demon, which is going to destroy Athia. It makes sense. She's not a bomb, but it appears to have popped her life force. I thought the gloaming failed. Did it not? Tully, forgive me. No, I would I would say that it it was successful. Crazy. They achieved their goal. It's all right. You don't have to. When it does, promise me you won't lose hope. You won't. I promise. <laughs> I'd say it's been a blast. This is another one of those situations where they try to make you feel sympathy for the character and they try to make you emotionally connect to an emotional scene, but it doesn't work because we don't know nothing about this character. We're possessing her as another character. We know that we're not dead because this is events in the past. Kind of explaining what happened with Sinta and I guess explaining the, the rise of Cuff. So it's just, we, we were basically possessing an NPC. Because we weren't playing as the character. We, we were using this character as a skin suit to experience events of the past. That's it. So this doesn't work. And there goes Cuff in his little birdie form. Really? That's how they're going to end that? Okay, so hot take. If you were looking to play this, it's fun. I, I could not justify paying full price for this. Um, if you want to play it, get it when it's on sale. Um, I mean, it's fun gameplay wise. The story is garbage, hot garbage. The soundtrack's great. Super epic. The boss fights are fun when they happen. Um, when the controls work. I'm going to say, though, that I don't know how much of a coincidence it is that in both final bosses in this DLC and the main game, magic parkour broke and it wouldn't let me use it. Oh, there's Cuff. Yeah, and we we see how uh, how things went for Cuff. I'd say more like Cuck. <laughs> I 
I mean, come on, we turned him into a bracelet. Oh, the present, huh? Oh, we're warped back. Am I back in your own time? Did I... did Talia die? Yes. Her final moments were the beginning of the end. You saw the bird. Thus was the Cirrus called forth. Yeah, pretty much. What does that mean? Did Talia become Cirrus? No, she was no. the vessel. As Aldercor said, she was merely a vessel. And though Cinta tried her hardest, she was not able to prevent his return. And we Talia subdued him. The years that followed. And now we're wearing him as a bracelet. Total destruction at his hand. Staring stuff. I'd shed a tear if I were able. But where did Cicerus even come from? Aldecor couldn't have made him. Indeed, no mortal could have created such an abomination. Cicerus owes his existence to a far more terrifying power. Let me guess, you're setting up the sequel power? here? Interesting. Oh, I, I don't even know who I'm talking to. Who are you? I... And one of the tantas of Red Earth. Of course you are, because let's the make the player force the player to, to buy DLC. So in win. Canada, this DLC is like Wait, 16 no, bucks or something. I don't remember. I, I'm pretty sure it was 16 bucks, and then you have to add taxes on whatever. So you play through the main well, game, it ends, and then you force the player that. to, uh, let's home. assume first thing, Sure that you spent full price on this. Like, you bought it on release full price. Or you spent the 90 the something dollars that the PlayStation Store wants for, for the digital version. So, you buy this at full price, spend almost 100 bucks on it. I didn't. I got it on sale for like 30. But then they expect you, in order to get the full story, the full ending that sets up the sequel they expect you to spend another 20 bucks on it. That is sleazy, sleazy, sleazy. They did this same thing with Ashura's Wrath on the PS3. They put the game out and then they had the true ending of the story locked behind DLC that you can no longer get. So for my long play that I did for that, um, I played that through the PlayStation Network, um, through PlayStation Plus, and you can't play the whole thing because they have the base game up there, but you can't unlock the DLC, so you can't see the actual ending for it, which is garbage, and I am not buying an Xbox just to do that, but this falls into the same scummy, greedy eyes territory. Can't just give you the whole game story for one normal price like most other games do, they got to take it and make you spend money on DLC in order to get it. I absolutely hate that about the game industry. All they see is money and soaking people for as many profits as they can. And the product suffers because of it. Like, this could have been a really great game. It could have been amazing if they would have taken the time to actually develop the story and implement interesting characters in an interesting environment instead of making it just, oh, visit the f visit the four castles to take down the four crazy ladies, get your powers back and save the world. And you have to run... You have to run in one direction for like an hour and a half each time you want to do it. Oh, and then after you get your third power, we're going to take them all away and you're going to have to collect them again so we can draw out gameplay time. And then the game ends. And then they want you to spend money on DLC for a game that a garbage story, um, passably fun gameplay with no real incentive to go around collecting stuff because the game's like, it's really easy regardless. But then, to come to this, a story that takes you to the past with characters where, like, you're possessing an NPC, and you get to, yeah, cool, you get to have Sinta as, like, your tag-along helping party member, and then 
you get to witness the beginning of what turned into Cuff with a little fetch quest that takes you around to develop your magic powers, and then, and then that's it. So, oh, and then there you go. They end off, um, phrase born, and that's the end. And now that the game's done, I don't really feel inclined to go read any of this stuff. I mean, if anybody's interested in it, I can go through it. I'm not opposed. It's just, I don't really necessarily feel compelled because they explained pretty much everything. Oh, and then that's it. Just straight back to the title screen. That's it. Okay. Well. <clears throat> I think rather than ranting on this, <laughs> because man, can I rant? Um, I think rather than that, we will, we will call this a playthrough here. We got all the items. We didn't finish getting all the magic upgraded. We didn't unlock the other two things, but... I mean, realistically, we didn't really need it. One of them was the um, upgrading the healing capacity by 50, I think it was. And the other one was increasing stamina by 100. So, I mean, it's not it's not the end of the world. Not make or break. We did it. Without the two... Without those last two nodes being unlocked. Um, we saw the story. We, we, we got all the, the items. That's the important thing. Um... But yeah, so we will call this, call this one done. And I'm projecting probably, probably about, um, I don't remember when this was released last year. I think it was right before Final Fantasy 16, like a month or two or something. So I'm going to predict probably sometime around this time next year so like March 2025 possibly or maybe even the end of 2024 I would expect that they're probably going to announce the sequel um I guess it depends I don't I haven't really looked into how the sales numbers were for this um because if the sales didn't do too well um and it if it got review bombed and people didn't really like it, I can't see them justifying going ahead, spending like millions of dollars producing a sequel that nobody wants. Um, if that's the case, I don't think they would announce it, but if there is a little bit of an appetite for it, I would imagine they might feel compelled to release a condensed version as DLC um, at least it wouldn't be as much of a loss. I feel like a lot of people probably bought into this thinking it was going to be amazing, so the sales numbers were probably pretty decent. Um, but yeah, so I guess I guess we'll see if in about a year from now they um, they announce a sequel. But until then, we'll call this one done. Put a pin in it. So, if you like this video, make sure you hit the like button, and if you want to see more videos like these, make sure you hit the subscribe button, and until next time, thanks for watching.